In this video, I'm going to show you a quick way to calculate this product, cosine pi over 15 multiplying by similar terms up to cosine 7 pi over 15. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Let me first introduce the tools that we're going to use to solve this problem. So the first one is that sine of pi minus theta, here pi is referring to radian, and that's equivalent to actually equivalent to 180 degrees. And if this angle minus theta, then sine of this angle is equal to sine of theta as well. And the second tool, it's a well-known double angle formula. Which says that when the, double, when the angle is doubled, say theta becomes 2 theta, then sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. These two tools can both be derived from the very well-known compound angle formula. which says that if two angles are added together, then sine of that, the sum, can be rewritten as sine A times cos B plus cos A times sine B. That's for the addition version. If we're doing subtraction instead, then the result is very similar it's just that the two terms are to be subtracted, not to be added together. So that's the difference between the two compound angle formulas. Now, when the two angles are pi and theta, then sine A becomes sine pi, which is zero. And this is clearly uh, cos theta, but that's not important because zero times anything is zero. Now, this term is going to be subtracted by cos A, which is cos pi, and that's minus one, and sine beta, sine B, which is just sine theta. And this minus sine, and this minus sine would, um, cancel each other, so the result is just sine theta. And similarly, if you put theta into both A and B, into the addition formula, then you can see that theta, 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 the two terms are actually the same, and you add them up, so you'll get 2 sine theta times cos theta. Now back to the main problem. So for this product, I'm going to make the full use of the double angle formula by multiplying lots of terms in front of these seven terms, each by the sine of that angle instead. So I'm going to multiply cos of pi over 15 times uh, by sine of pi over 15, and then do the similar thing for 2 pi over 15, 3 pi over 15, and so on. start making um, writing errors. Yeah, they should be all sine instead. Yes. So I'm going to treat them group by group, pair by pair. The first pair is the product of sine and cosine. And from the double angle formula, I can rewrite that as sine theta times cos theta is equal to half of sine 2 theta. So this equals to half of sine of the double angle, which is 2 pi over 15. And I can do the same for the next pair. And that's another half times sine of 4 pi over 15. And using a similar argument, I will get lots of halves multiplying together and then the double angles, which are 
two pi, four pi, six pi, eight pi, ten pi. Twelve pi and finally fourteen pi. Each multiplied by a half. So all the halves multiplied together, there are seven of them, gives one over a hundred and twenty eight. So we regroup the terms, and this is what we are going to get. So by doubling our formula, we have reached this expression. Now. The reason that I arrange the terms in this way is that I'm going to do something on the second row, this row. Well, I'm going to fix the terms on the first row instead. I'm going to bring in the first two that I've introduced, the written to 180 degrees, written to the pi, which that I can rewrite, say, sine of a power of 15 into sine of pi minus this angle instead. And that's equal to sine of 7 pi over 15. Same as what I have added, included in the, in the original expression. I can do similar things on the other terms, rewriting this as pi minus 10 pi over 15 and that's equal to sine of 5 pi over 15 and that's again very close to what I've included in the first in the original expression similar for the other two and that's sine of 3 pi over 15 and finally for the final one that's equal to sine of pi over 15. Now, that means after multiplying by all those sine, the seven sine terms, I've returned with the sine terms again. The, the odd terms, pi over 15, 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi, achieved after using the first two, changing the 8 pi, 10 pi, the large terms, into the odd terms, while the even terms are obtained by double angle formulas. So I've managed to get back all the sine terms and now I can just cancel them once and for all. And these sine terms vanish when you treat them, treat these two parts as an equation. Now, what remains at the top are the cosine terms that we want to calculate. And what remains at the bottom is just one single number, a fraction, 1 over 128. So that's our final answer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.